Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing fine. You look very dark in this picture. Let's see if I can get it to... Yeah. Oh well. You're very dark, but that's okay. You got a bright background behind you. Well, I spent a week down uh, in Southern California to with my sister at her house. Went to see your sisters, two older son graduates, one of the BS, one of the masters. Good stuff. Good kids. Yeah, now I'm back to, guess what? Sanding. You bet. Where's my sign? This is the final 16. sanding. Huh? I think the final sanding to do. I've heard that before. I heard that back in 2017. Uh, until we decide to do something else, but. Now this looks, came out really, really, like butter. Yeah, look how shiny that is. Yeah, there. that's nice stuff. All right, so this is the 2K primer, three coats of 2K primer on here. So you brought the crappy weather with you too. What's, up, you. what's up with that? Um, anyway, so we can't paint today. It's too cold, but uh, sand All these right. guys down 223, 2400, 600, and they'll be ready for paint as long as we don't burn through and you know find something bad. And we have one run here that you may or may not be able to see that we need to deal with. But other than that, they're pretty much ready to go, I think. So that's Pop's job. He's going to do that. So while Pop's is working on that, I got to clean this place because um, we got to get all this stuff out of here when we paint. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working on because that's a lot less fun than sanding, even though sanding is so fun. Um, we got the new hinge. Yeah, we showed that in the last video. Um, I still don't like that style of uh, roller, whatever you call those things. Um, but hopefully this will work better than the one we had. So we'll get that prepped for paint too. And then the other thing is the door here where I tore the paint off here. We're gonna look at this and see what to be done about this. I put the little touch-up paint on here and you can hardly tell anything even happened. Um, but I'm probably going to sand this back a little bit here. And then when we paint the bumpers, I'll just take a paintbrush and just dab some paint in there and clear coat especially to just seal it. Um, you can see here, I think, where the, it's pretty jacked up. But I do not want to take that around that corner at all because I don't want to spray any of this and then deal with all of that crap. So I'm just going to do a, a hack job repair on that, but just seal it so water and stuff can't get under the paint and all that is really all I care about because you can't really see it. That's it. We're ready to work. How's it going, fine, sir? Oh, it looks like butter. Look at that. Yeah, I wish you could. Mine, huh? I wish you could feel it through the camera. Yeah. It's very smooth. I feel as smooth as my skin. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, it's coming out real nice. Yeah, looking good. So pops is not being too aggressive with the 220, as you see, because um, everything is pretty flat. So he's just gonna. Keep and things going and two minor runs. You did go. Yeah, got the runs yeah. out. We were there over here. Yep, those are gone. Those came out okay. So we're good. Yeah, and I'm cleaning. I made some progress. All right, we got up through 320 on everything, and we're both tired. We're gonna call it a day here, so we will come back and pick it up next time. 400, 600 wet, and they're ready to go. I think everything's going to be okay. There's a, a few little breakthroughs here and there, but not too bad. So I think it's going to be fine. Um, got things cleaned up decently in here. I just have to finish this stuff up. All these things are going, we'll just put them outside when the time comes. Um, but I got to get all the loose stuff off the floor, get that all cleaned up. So. No, I mean, uh, I'll, next week, Saturday, Sunday, first time we get some good weather again, 80 and 80. So. I'll be back Wednesday or Thursday. We'll finish this off, okay? Okay. So we can prep it for, uh, we got 400, we got 600, and then we got to do some other stuff. What other stuff? That's ready. You going to tape it or anything? No. Okay. I'm ready to go. All right. I, don't know, I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the inside yet, because it's already got a bunch of overspray on it. Maybe we'll paint them, and then I'll come along and paint Paint the inside black when it's done. Probably easier. There's already a mess in there. Masking it off now is not going to do any good. No. Nope. Might do that. 
just scuff it up and shoot it with the rattle can paint. All right. All right. I'm beat. Shoot up before you paint the red, you mean? No, I'll paint the red first. Okay. And then just put a piece of tape over all these things. Right. Because I want to leave these open so when we're spraying down, the paint can get down in there. Right. If you tape it from the back, then the, the air just wants to bounce yeah. back out. I think that would be better. Okay. Yep. Have a good one. We'll see you on Wednesday, Thursday, whatever it ends up being. Yeah. All right. Adios. Let me take a shot. All right. We are back at it. We're up to 400 now. You can see a bunch of scratches in here. I think you can see those right there. So that's what we're trying to get rid of. But the king of sanding is here. I will eliminate them today. Yeah, that, that one little pass, they're gone. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah, that's I was good. worried those were 220 scratches, but it doesn't look like it. Well, you can feel it's just really smooth as glass already. You can see all these scratches here. Look for the good stuff, not the bad stuff. No, it's good. There you go. It's been a long time since I sanded, so I couldn't remember the difference between a 220 and a 320, but that's that's a 320 scratch. So, that's what we're doing. Um, we're not going to paint today, I'm pretty sure. Um, just because I'm a little worried about wet sanding these things and having any water be trapped in there when we paint them. Uh, so we're just going to get these ready, and then we'll let them sit for a week. Weather should be okay next weekend. Um, ooh, I do have one question for everybody while we're here. Before it gets too late in the video and people tune out. You probably already have. Um, anyway, um, for you painters out there, the corners of these bumpers are pretty sharp. I'm not so worried about the bottom here, but um, generally speaking, you want to avoid sharp corners when you're painting. So I was wondering if there's anything I should do. You know, this is going to have sealer, base coat, mid coat, clear coat um, on these edges here. Theoretically, from the factory, they painted them. So maybe. Maybe it's not an issue, but I don't know. And so I was planning on roughing these up, putting a fresh coat of uh, epoxy on here before we paint them. Because we're not really sanding these edges here. Um, but you know, should I try and round these edges over a little bit or not? They're, they're fairly sharp. Um, anyway, let me know. All right, this guy is done in 400. Pops is almost done over there. I've got some 600 soaking over here. So there's a bit of metal showing through on the edges of these things. Um, so I'm gonna have to get a light coat of epoxy on this. I hope I can do that without putting any texture in it because I'm notorious for putting lots of texture in my epoxy. As I was telling Pops, I think if I missed it on there, I'm generally pretty good about getting it on there without making a mess. So hopefully that's the case. It's really just that top edge corners but it's in pretty good shape and it's feels beautiful very smooth I know some of you have been going through sanding withdrawals <clears throat> pops included I used to be a sextenarian then a septenarian now an octenarian still sanding yep yes I have some problems with that <laughs> So we are up to 600 wet now. <clears throat> Pops forgot to put the guide coat on, so I had to yeah, reset. Yeah, it was so perfect <clears throat> I didn't need it. Come on. I had to reset him. Um, this guy's done, I believe. Um, I just did the epoxy section there with 600. I see a little, a few shiny spots there. So um, I'll go over all of the little holes in the bumpers and stuff with Scotch Bright. Um, to get all those out, and I'll just give that a once over to make sure it's good. Um, but these guys are pretty close to being done. Yep, they are. I'll just leave that there for you to watch Pops work. I find some scotch bites.
can't find any gray scotch brakes. Can't find what? The gray scotch brake. And the maroon. <clears throat> well, that was when you played too good. I'm telling you. You're in the trunk. Stranger things have happened. This is uh, ideally you want to use the, the gray Scotch Bright, the ultra fine. Um, I can't find my box of it, but I found a piece in the trunk, so I'll just use that. The maroon Scotch Bright, from what I understand, is closer to 32400. This is more 600 ish, um, which is the final stage of paint for this. I'll bring you over here. Here anywhere, get a shot that shows this. You can see there, it's a little shiny right there. I don't know how well that comes across, but so just knock that stuff down and then get down inside all the holes to make sure everything's scuffed up. Damn mosquito! Yeah, they're coming out. That's the problem with having a pond. Skeeters. Creek, yeah. That's better. Skycoat. Forgot again. Exercise. What? So that was the whole purpose of this exercise. Yes, to dry it off so that you can put the guy who don't get it wet. I just worry that it'll get all cakey if you get it wet, so. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't matter, but I wouldn't take the chance. I'm too late, you already took the chance. Yeah. Maybe one of you painting guys out there knows if you can get this 3M guide coat wet. I would assume not. And mosquito in my ear. All right. And let's see how I can make a smaller piece here. Squeeze down inside here. I love how these bumpers hum. Yeah. <laughs> so resonate. All right, you guys get the idea. All right, everything is done. <clears throat> Took red scotch bright around the inside edge of that. Um, what we discussed we're gonna do is we're gonna mask off the inside of the bumpers when we're ready to paint the whole inside, and then we'll spray the epoxy around the outside edges. Um, and then we'll take all the tape off of the inside uh, so that when I'm Spraying it this this area is open uh, So the paint will have an easy time getting down inside there because if you block it off It's hard to get the paint to go down in there um, Yeah, and then when all is said and done then we'll just scuff the inside of that and shoot it with some rattle can Because rather than trying to paint it with the epoxy and then getting the overspray on and all that We'll just wait and then shoot some black on it when it's done clear out man
you sand this bottom part? Uh, which part? The bottom. No, you just got to the bottom. That needs to get scuffed up. You grab that before it falls. Yeah. I'll scuff it up with a... Yeah. The gray scotch part. Right? Okay. Scuff it. Scuff it. Uh, yeah. Watch out for a second. Water police, I get you, buddy. We're out of all the water restrictions now, aren't we? Four guys in uh, Napa or Marin County, whatever it is up there. Say 15%, another increase in the bill, but 25. You know, that's an obvious one. You cut back, they're going to make less money, right? Yep. I think all utilities should be owned by the state. Because the state is so good at managing things? Uh, not that. There are places where that actually works. Not here. See how smooth that is. Looks nice. I think that's going to look pretty nice. I don't see any ripples in it or anything. All right. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one. So I'm going to let all these dry um, over the next week. So they'll be ready to go next time. And then we have to do that hinge. And then I'm um, in the first half of this video I mentioned about this edge here and if anybody has any thoughts on how to handle this I said it's just you know the door hit that thing once so it's chewed up from down here up to about here um, any thoughts I said I'm planning on just kind of sanding it up getting some color in there and there's basically brushing on clear coat everything to seal it and trying Make sure no water can get in there is really the only thing I'm worried about. It's not super obvious. You can't really see it. And so it's just more, I don't want the paint to fail right there. Okay, can you say something politically correct this time? No. All right. My head is full of incorrect stuff. Good, go home. I'll thank you. I will. I had to edit out Dad's last segment. Can't be trusted. <laughs> All right, see you next weekend. All right. Bye.